And now some really scary thoughts from Amy Pickard. She calls herself a death-positive facilitator, and you're about to understand why. Quick, what's the leading cause of death? <laughs> Birth. Folks, you're going to die. Happy Sunday, everybody! But for realsies, you're definitely going to die. And yet, if you're like most people, you literally put more thought into building your own burrito than you do thinking about your own demise. And I'm here to tell you, it's your loved ones who pay the price. Halloween is a day we celebrate ghosts and spirits. And what better day to talk about advanced planning for when we become ghosts and spirits? Most people think they don't need to plan ahead because they're not rich. But regardless of income, someone has to deal with you after you're gone, organize your belongings, arrange your funeral, take care of your goldfish, etc., etc. So why would you leave your loved ones to just wing it without any instructions? That's more of a trick than a treat. What's preventing you from having the conversation? Do you feel it's awkward or uncomfortable to talk about death? Well, imagine the awkwardness when you're in the ICU, intubated and unable to communicate, and it's up to a family member to decide what happens to you without ever having had a single conversation about it. Now that's hashtag awkward. So talk to friends and family about whether you want to be cremated or buried or what kind of food you want served or music played at your funeral or life celebration or who you want to speak for you if you're unable to speak for yourself. Make sure someone knows where your important papers are and how to access them in case of an emergency. Does someone know your passwords for your email accounts and bills that you pay online? Or what to do with your record collection or specific heirlooms? Don't make your loved ones guess. Advanced planning erases guilt, uncertainty, confusion, and anger. And isn't it better to leave behind love instead of logistics?